I don't want to draw attention to it and make him realise what he's doing. So I've set up a covert camera. He's just sat there eating chips quite happily. Never ever seen him do that before. This is huge. and welcome to the first weekly vlog of 2020. We are starting a little bit later in the week than we normally would. It's Thursday morning, not Monday morning. We just had a little bit of time off over Christmas. You know that from the vlogs we've been putting out. We've been quite selective over what we've been filming and when we've been filming. We all needed a little bit of a break, but it is the 2nd of January. Holidays officially over. Um, although the kids are still off school for a few more days. So now seems like an appropriate opportunity to get the weekly vlog up and running again for the week. And we do have some exciting stuff planned for the week. Um, in a couple of days' time, Andy has been nagging for days. The moment Christmas was out of the way, Andy started nagging to go to Nottingham. I guess it must be something we did last year, maybe. After Christmas, we went to Nottingham. But he was completely fixated on Christmas. And now all he's talking about is Nottingham, then school. So he's absolutely got it in his head we're going to Nottingham. So we're going to go to Nottingham. We haven't been there for quite a while, actually. But we'll go there, have a little, hopefully have a look around the Christmas stuff that should still be there. I still feel Christmassy, even if Christmas is officially over. And uh, obviously ride on the trams, all that kind of stuff as well. But the reason I'm out and about early this morning, it's not even nine o'clock. Um, the kids aren't at school and I'm up out and about early. It's a normal work day for me, so I'll be getting on with some videos when I get home. But of course, it is January, which means diets have begun. You saw the diet video a few days ago, hopefully. If you didn't, it's there. You should go and watch it. But it has occurred to me that after, what has it been, a couple of months of Gusto boxes and Christmas and all the Christmas food and stuff, I don't think we've done a normal, like, big shop from Tesco probably for about two months it might it, i guess we're probably going back to before comic-con in october the last time we did a proper big shop and got that delivered we're not doing that i'm not doing a big shop now but with getting all of the christmas food out of the way to make room for just eating healthy stuff it has become glaringly apparent that there's very little healthy food in the house so i'm just doing a quick run to tesco to grab some healthy bits and pieces so we can have a healthy breakfast a healthy lunch and hopefully a healthy dinner. We are waiting for a, a Weight Watchers cookbook to arrive for the Weight Watchers video that we're doing. I and mean, it hasn't come yet, so we're kind of in a holding pattern, still trying to follow Weight Watchers, but without any actual recipes to cook. So it's a little bit hit and miss. But, I mean, I know, I, I'm, I'm big enough and old enough to know roughly what a healthy meal looks like. So I'm just going to pick up a few healthy bits and pieces in there, head home, have some nice microwave scrambled eggs with no butter and some bacon medallions for breakfast. And then uh, and I crack on with my work day while Andy plays Goat Simulator and Anna potters about the place. Andy had got into the habit of getting up really late like staying up late, getting up late. But I think we broke him keeping up till midnight for New Year's Eve because he's now back into the getting up super early again when me and Anna got up at like seven o'clock this morning. Andy had already been up for two hours. We know this because Anna has the app on her phone that tells her how long he's been playing on his di on his Switch for. And by the time we woke up at seven, he was already two hours deep into Goat Simulator for the day on his Switch. He is very much enjoying that Christmas present. But I'm starving, so I'm gonna go and grab some breakfast. I'll see you a little bit later on today. Slight interruption to the work day it is this way. 10 to 4. Um, as you can see, Andy is in the back of the car. Um, Andy is going stir crazy. He has been in the house other than when we went to my dad's a week ago. for Christmas Day a week ago. And little bits like picking Anna up from work and maybe a quick trip to the shops. He's not really been out of the house since the start of the summer holidays, which is a week and a half ago now and he's getting destructive because of it he ripped up my diary earlier today he turned off the heating while Anna was in the shower he's just generally got a grumpy on because all he's done for the last week is play goat simulator <laughs> even though he enjoys doing that so we're uh, we're nipping out to a church or two just to just to get him out of the house for a few minutes really and then I'll nip back and carry on with my work afterwards because I still have loads to do. These holidays are very inconvenient the way they break up the days. So church number one, it looks open. I wasn't expecting any of them to be open. It's nearly four o'clock. It's starting to get dark. I thought we were gonna be locked out of them but it looks like the gate is open on that one. So fingers crossed 
you can go and have a good old a good old rummage around. Shuts at four and it is eight minutes to four. I should have put my proper coat on, I'm cold. I did tell you it's cold. You said put a coat on, you didn't say put a warm coat, coat on. Coat on, that's not mm, a coat. It has sleeves, that makes it a coat. Oh, my jumper has sleeves, it's not a coat. Disagree. reading that. The odd word a bit iffy here and there but he's reading it very confidently. That's like 90% right. It's not often we get to see him reading in action because he won't read with us no matter how much we ask. Unless it's something he wants to read. He ain't reading it. He wants to read that. The angry the eighth. Say the hangry V I R E I. <laughs> That's the logical way to say it if you don't know Roman numerals. <laughs> Where has he gone? I don't know. I he is not there. Andrew. Andrew! He's gone around the back, hasn't he? Andrew! Oh. I don't know where he's gone. What are you doing around here? Mummy said not to go too far. We'll go back again. No, we're not going inside again. I thought you wanted to go to the other church. Yeah. But we should try and get there before they close. Thank you, whispering. Yeah, that's all right. You mustn't wander off without Mummy knowing where you are. Don't know where she's gone now. Where? Oh, there she is. She wasn't too panicked then. That is the church. Right, we're going to the other one. So, church number two, when it emerges from around the corner. There it is. It's freezing cold and really windy. And I've only got a small camera that doesn't have the external mic on. So apologies for presumably how terrible the audio has been for this bit. I didn't realize just how wintry it was in the middle of January. In the middle of January. The start of January. Why? This one doesn't look as open. Mind you, the gate's open, isn't it? Mm. We've had, <laughs> we had lovely memories here. Click here for the lovely memories. Look at that light on. Oh, are we in? This one's even darker. Stop it. Don't you be trying to use the microphone. Whisper. Yeah. to welcome to your Sagudas. Today, if you join us this evening, another church, hope you will join us. If you like, if you are looking for church, if you can, I want to see you at the this time I'll turn over. I think they all say the same thing, Andy. <laughs> he, um, with this reading thing he's on today, he, uh, he started looking at the Bible on there and I thought we'd have to stand here while he read the entire Bible. <laughs> Wise to his plan this time. Follow him as soon as he started coming around here. But... I can't... He's trying to get me to play Pokemon. It's uncivilised to play Pokemon in this kind of weather. If you can't walk to play it, I refuse to play it. It's a summer game. I won't play it by car. The light on. Don't open that door. Leave that door alone. 
Do not open that door. No, we don't need to go back inside. We're going home. Yes, we can go home. We need to go to Tesco first. I need to go in. Yeah, we need to go in and get some dinner. And then we go to get Tesco for Andy Gosford. Yeah. No home. Well, we're going to Tesco then home. Andy's Gosford, yeah. I guess. I'm not playing Pokemon. Just put one in. Never. I don't want you to play. I just want to just put one in. No. Help me defend. Never. But for your Snorlax. Mmm. Only one minute, baby. It's been so long, though. One minute, Andy. It's probably enough to do updates. Uh, Ugh, you want a Snorlax, do you? That's a good defender. That is a good defender. There you go. Yeah, now I'm not touching it again until at least <laughs> May. <laughs> what are you doing? Where? Now there's a car. You just made it more dangerous. We have made it through to Friday and we are now officially back in normal routine now. As you can see, Anna is over here working away on uni work um, and buying styluses for Andy because Andy has got the new brain training game on his Switch, which he's enjoying, enjoying very much. The only problem is the one thing he enjoys more than the brain training game is biting the end off of the stylus that he got. So, um, we've, Anna's, how many did you say you bought? 22. 22 styluses with some of his Christmas money. That will last him a day or two. Oh, that was all of his Christmas. Oh, you got the game as well. The game is Yeah, so, yeah, the game, the case, and all these styluses are what he's had his Christmas money spent on. But he used to play brain training, training with your mum, didn't he? Yeah, that's why he didn't say Yeah, so, as soon as it was announced, we knew he'd want it. Um, he's actually got it before me. I had it pre-ordered, but I've got a physical copy pre-ordered and mine hasn't arrived yet. But he's got it digitally because he had his money to download it with. So I'm a little bit sad that he's sat there <laughs> playing on one and I can't yet. Very upsetting. The one thing that is keeping me happy oh, no. is that I've just had a rather excellent phone call um, that has sorted out some speaking engagements for later in the year, getting back on the speaking grind, which is awesome. So need to, it's speaking and more panels as well. So um, more details on that to follow, but very exciting to be doing more of that again this year. Want to do even more of that this year than I have done previously. I feel like it's the next step to evolve into. Can't tell you any more about it at the moment. Don't pick at it. He's, put, he's just pulled the end off again. Oh, I give up. Oh, Anna wants to show us her fingerprints. So this is your dissertation work, isn't it? Mm. So what powder is that? Is that normal fingerprint powder? Oh, that's beetroot powder. That's beetroot powder. And is that good or bad? That's quite good. Excellent. This is probably, it needs to be ground. How dirty is that monitor? That is filthy. That, no, that's the, that's the powder. Oh, is that the powder? I thought that was a filthy monitor. <laughs> Oh, that. okay. I'll let it, you off then. It has to be ground down more. That's my problem. I mean, I'm not the cleanest, tidiest person in the world, but <laughs> I was about to give her a lecture for her griminess there. <laughs> and by the way, how long is this temporary tattoo going to stay on for? I look ridiculous with a slowly fading temporary tattoo. <sighs> 4.13 on Friday evening and work is finished for the week. Not only is work finished for the week, but I've already recorded my football manager. I've already recorded eight of the 12 football manager videos that are going to release next week. I am trying to get ahead with a purpose because at the moment, in a couple of weeks, I have scheduled in finally sorting out the garage slash office it was only ever half done for when i did it two years ago there's still only half of it carpeted the desk is supposed to be turning around that way so that's gonna be like a three or four day job probably and it's three or four days where i can't make any videos so i'm trying to get a week ahead on the videos so that i can afford to take a few extra days if need be and really finally sort this place out for good for now i need to go into the house start making dinner because me and anna Three days into this diet, are struggling a little bit. We're starving hungry. We're going to have an early dinner before the podcast. It is Saturday afternoon, and after a morning spent at home watching wrestling in my pajamas, we are now we are now in Nottingham. Another another chance to get Andy out of the house. He is very very he's very intense today, so I think he's enjoying being out of the house and very excited that we are here at Castle Marina in Nottingham. Andy, careful! Almost walked out in front of a car. 
to go up and down in some lifts. We're then gonna head to some trams. Andy, you've got to come off the road. <laughs> like I said, it's gonna be one of those days, I think. First lift down in PC World while I was in there, I did try and have a little nose at the new 4K version of my big camera, the new Canon 90D. I know this will be the third time I've tried to upgrade to 4K with a Canon camera. I apparently don't learn my lesson. Luckily, they didn't have one. So for now, that's a thousand pounds saved. I can't afford a thousand pound camera just after Christmas anyway. But I wanted to have a little touch. Does anybody, Andy, where's the last, where's the other lift? What shop are we aiming for? He's doing the thing again when we come here where he's going in every shop to check if they've got a lift even though he knows exactly which one has the lift. But he wants to go in every shop because that's his routine. Go in every shop, check, no, no lift here. And then move on to the next one. Second stop on the Nottingham trip. Where are we, Andy? In Nottingham tram. Time, time to ride the trams. It's actually well, a little bit late than I intended, really, um, because after I was finished watching the wrestling, you two faffed for an hour. Um, you watched wrestling <laughs> for three hours. Kevin. I watched wrestling for five hours. It's starting to get dark. I don't really want to be hanging Mail around tram. on the tram much after dark. Plus, I'm Mail absolutely tram. starving because we've not had lunch because I was Mail trying tram. to uh, trying males. to conserve my Weight two Watchers males. points. Two, two males. males. Mate, by having a big breakfast so we can have a big dinner while we're out already trying to game the system problem is it's three o'clock and I could eat a horse don't get on that one we're in his favorite place in the entire world Highbury Vale tram stop where we have a tram line there tram line here tram lines there train line there I'm on a busy day. Where is he? <laughs> For a second now, I thought he'd got on this tram, but he was still about there when I started talking to you. I thought he'd got on the tram. I have no idea what I'd have done if he'd have done that. I hope you look both ways before crossing that road. What's happening, Andy? It's a double stay. It is a double stay. We didn't weren't here for the first part of it. Ready? Warning! Another train is coming. Warning! Another train is coming. Oh, is it a train or a tram? Train. Oh. You don't seem to be filming. Oh, let's say again. Oh, there we go. Ah. I've got some spare cameras with me if you All want right, to film too. Thank you. I may have oh, supervise you. No double person. Train or tram? A tram. Can't hear it yet. <gasps> Trams here. Where? Hi, this Sam. is the one we would have been getting back. We'll have to wait another 10 minutes now. Nice. Now go back to the level, go back trap. We've made it into the centre of Nottingham. That's probably going to be your last Christmas tree shot of this festive period. They're actually disassembling the whole thing. The last time we were in Nottingham, it shows how long it's been, they had the beach there. 
looks like they've had an ice rink there maybe and around the Christmas tree but it's all being taken down because Christmas is officially over. We're trying something we've never tried before because Andy doesn't really eat crisps anymore. We got some before Christmas that we've still got most of left. He's kind of living off of his waffles, fish fingers and toast in the mornings, his Yorkshire puddings. Um, so we didn't bring any crisps with us, which was more of being forgetful than trying to try something new. But just because he doesn't eat them anymore, we forget to take them places because we're monsters. There's, there used to be a shop on the corner where we used to be able to buy crisps. That's not there anymore, that's now a clothes shop. Um, so, We've ordered him mini fish bites and chips. I'm guessing they're going to be a little bit like fish fingers. If he eats even any of it at all, that'll be the first time he's ever had a restaurant meal. Either way, we've promised him we're taking him to McDonald's afterwards. So he's happy sitting there playing on his Switch. In fact, he's on your phone, isn't he? He's on Anna's phone, even though we brought his Switch. Um, but then we're going to go to McDonald's afterwards. I don't want to draw attention to it and make him realise what he's doing. So I've set up a covert camera. He's just sat there eating chips quite happily. Never ever seen him do that before. This is huge! Are we getting a little emotional over there? <laughs> He's eaten, what do you reckon, half of what they served up? <laughs> and drinking a massive drink of pop as well. Is that good? Was your dinner nice? <laughs> good. Wow, 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 wow. Couldn't make a big enough deal of it in there because it was so loud and so dark and I didn't know if you could hear me. T has just eaten a restaurant meal, which is mad. It shows the, uh, I said at the time it was the first one he's ever done, but then I remembered he did have one in Belgium as well, because he had that fish fingers thing in Belgium. No, but he, uh, yeah, he just sat there and uh, probably half a little basket of cod chunks and chips, which we weren't expecting him to do. Like I said in there, we forgot to bring his crisps because he's not really been eating them at home and we probably wouldn't have ordered him a meal if it wasn't for the fact that they had a kids eat three before 5 p.m. thing so we thought we may as well order the thing he's most likely to eat ordered him the fish and chips kids meal not really thinking he would do anything with it he might pick at the fish because it's a bit like fish fingers he just sat there and started eating it that is massive that is huge you think that was a slope what like a ski slope thing or a skateboard thing Maybe they were doing skiing here over Christmas. That was massive. We are now heading to McDonald's to reward him with more food. Is that good? We'll go to Victoria Centre. We'll go to the Victoria Centre in a minute, yeah. We're now doing all the lifts in the Victoria Centre. I'm not really supposed to film in here, so... I probably won't be filming in here. Well, after a good hour of solid research, I can confirm that all but one lifts in that shopping centre work, and the one that doesn't work is correctly labelled. Good work, Victoria Centre. Where are we going now, Andy? Going home. Back to the tram and then home. And we've made it through to Sunday morning, which is the 6th of January, which I've never known quite which way round it is, whether it's the 5th or the 6th. It's the 5th today. Is it the 5th today? No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's the 5th. Oh, in that case, 
we're definitely fine. <laughs> We've got to take the tree down. Um, Christmas is officially over. I know I said yesterday that, it, that the one in Nottingham was going to be the last tree right, shot you got of the year. It turns out it wasn't. Goodbye, Christmas tree. Goodbye, Godzilla Groot, who's clambering around at the top, trying to get to Tinkerbell at the top of the tree. Goodbye, Fallout things. Goodbye, Spider Gwen. Goodbye, Lucy, apparently. Um, goodbye, Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman and girl in dress in ball aerial and fluffy purple thing we will see all of you next year goodbye this process basically involves anna doing all the sensible taking stuff off the tree and putting stuff away nicely whereas i just stand here with these two boxes and sort between marvel and dc so they're in the correct boxes i dropped hello i see i dropped this one and i've already broken it so superman won't go to go on the tree next year which is very sad. Dave, did we ever show that on the vlog? I don't know that we did. It's Dave. The tree's gone away. Look at all those oh tree God. parts behind us. So <laughs> Anna's been getting really annoyed with me during this process. And I don't know why. Why have you been getting annoyed with me? You are incapable of listening to simple instructions. I listen to them. And then don't follow them. I do follow them if they're good. Apparently we're leaving these lights up. The, because, because, the curtain ones. Because I got new curtains about 18 months ago that I'd like to put up that would go perfectly underneath them and made an ambient light. That's a long word. Did you get a word a day calendar or something? And why have you got this? Is that my fidget spinner? No, this is mine. Yours is it? Oh, actually, yours was. It might be yours. You might want to check. Give me, give me, give me. Check that first. This is my box of treasure from Christmas. Excellent. Yes. The best thing about Christmas decoration takedown day is we get to drink the last of the fancy Christmas pop. Would you like a fancy Christmas pop, female? Yeah. Oh, she doesn't want it. I'll drink both of these things. Oh. Sure. Oh. Oh. Never mind. And much kerfuffle and rebuilding the house later. Christmas is officially over. Very sad. It also means this weekly vlog is over. A little bit of a short one this week, obviously, because we started later on. Let me know what you think of the length. This is a good length. This is a bad length. Let me know down in the comments. And uh, we'll uh, be back to doing the full week, starting from next week, because I will pick the camera up again first thing in the morning, which is actually Andy's last day of the holidays before he goes back to school on Tuesday. So we should be getting back to some kind of normal routine this week, which will be very nice. Don't forget to check out the other videos that are coming out between um, this vlog and next week's vlog. There's a couple of things I've got planned for this week that I hope you will enjoy, so make sure you check those out. Subscribe, notifications on, all that kind of stuff to make sure you don't miss out on those. And if you enjoyed this one, make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching.